Hello, it's Sarah. And I wanted to share with you guys um, this these classes that I'm taking. These are by Kate Crane. And I told you she's a UK artist. And if you go to her Etsy store, you can then purchase these classes. And it's called Journal Soup. And I've now taken Journal Soup 1 and Journal Soup 2. So I've been playing. My hands are still painy as we speak. I just finished. I just wanted to film this real quick. What you get is a printout, printables of um, basically what the classes are about. Um, my, my printer is running out of ink. I have to go get ink. That's why these pictures look, don't look good. And also, I didn't use her printables that she um, supplies us. But basically, it just talks about a little about the techniques and basically gives you a picture of what, your, what her piece looks like. So... Um, very very helpful to have as you know I am a copycat and so that is very very beneficial for me um, here is my journal soup if you go up here this is what she means okay so I just used one of Maya's shoe boxes an old shoe box it's a little kids shoe box um, and I just put some scrapbook paper on it and stamped journal soup onto some leftover file folder and made a little box but she uses a um, one of those seven gypsies um, printer trays, you know, as, as her, it's like a drawer, a printer drawer. And inside you have random different bits and pieces of card or whatever, chipboard, um, like file folders. I have a different bunch of different stuff back here I, I'm thinking about using. These are just card that I cut up today, a box that I cut up today. So I'll go through and show you what I, let me keep this over here. I'm just better that way. I'll show you what I've done so far. Um, I shared this one and this is, is that the first piece? That's the second, playing with collage. So she talks about how you can add a little bit piece of collage to your um, art journal as well. And I wasn't thrilled with this one. I felt like I, with the wet on wet painting that she does, she's got a totally different style of painting than I do. So I was trying it, but I tried to take things off and in doing that, I smudged what I already had. So it's a learning experience. And I think that's what she's going for with this is, it's a piece of card. It's, this is a, a cereal box. So don't be afraid, like it's not in your art journal, so you're, you're not ruining anything. You can just, you know, it's a piece of card, it's nothing. So um, if you like it, keep it. If you don't, you know, don't keep it. But anyway, I still learned a lot. So that's the second one. This is the first one and I did this today. I waited for this one because I didn't have the sprays. And I mean, by the looks of this color, these are Delusions sprays. And I have to say, the color is so vibrant with them and I enjoyed it so much playing with them. Um, I changed it up a little bit. Let me see if there's a picture of hers. You can't really tell. She did her card very similar to this one with the pink, yellow, two different color pinks and a yellow. Um, but she used some other, um, they were prints that she had printed out. So all I did was a, a tag. I don't even know if it's here now. I did a tag like this in the same way as I was doing this I did a tag and I just cut pieces of it and put it I made this envelope it's a little envelope one of those um, like kind of like a coin envelope almost and stuck that down but I changed my tag I had this one originally I love this tag so much I think it's amazing but I just thought I, I mean and that looks cool too actually I might just like that better but I did make this tag to kind of match the butterfly so because the butterfly had some green in it I just wanted to pull the green and I did put some green in here um, I this is one of my faves I just put beautiful and use your wings and she puts different she puts stuff and important because in her um, the whole idea behind it was she was keeping little quotes and different things in here um, that she wanted to use so that was that was super fun and like I said I mean I am just pulling tags now and putting them in the ink too like I just love this these turned out pretty cool too but it, um, I'm a pink girl I love pink so 
let's see what's next then it said let's draw and I showed you guys this one in my art journal I did the same thing I was able to they still have huge heads um, and I tried to do it with wet on wet again but um, and I mean I think it looks fine it's just not my norm so it's a little bit out of the box for me but which I'm kind of liking but look this is packaging um, cardboard right it's a box basically um, so really fun and then we journaled on their bodies and then um, I just add my stickles of course and uh, Wink Estella on their halos so that was that one that was the third one so we drew those on there and then the fourth one is <coughs> I didn't do the fourth one it says more inky play and she used what are those the very first sprays by Ranger I can't think of them but they were a matte spray she did some collage in the background and um, I could still play with it but I just I didn't do that one yet I think I'm gonna I'll figure it out I can't think of the name of those inks um, oh color wash it says it right here she used the color wash sprays but I didn't have them and then the fifth one is called drawing and carving so for this one we carved this stamp which I had already done because um, I was just copy I, I watched the whole thing through and hers is a little different she actually had another row around it um, and I carved this one which is down here which she's standing on and Kate's was a bit different like you can see the picture here if you compare Hers went all the way to the ground, but it was just, I didn't know what size card she was using. But this is sketched out of um, watercolor paper, and I had so much fun doing that. And then colored it with uh, my distress markers, and just glued that down. And then, see, so you can see the stamp that I made, and then I kind of just used, um, what is that, Perfect Pearl, or Pearl, not Perfect Pearls, but... Uh, liquid pearls anyway it just says start each day with a grateful heart and I should probably put some um, uh, gel medium over them because they're gonna come off probably from the stickiness but I love this one this one I just did today too so I did these two today so I had so much fun I'm not sure I kind of like this tag in there too and just have him sticking out right I don't know put them both in there um, so anyway, I am having so much fun. This one is from Two, um, Journal Soup Two. I must have done two from Journal Soup Two. Um, yes, I did. I, this is the first one from Journal Soup Two where we drew a house. And I told you I made that stamp a house. And I used my quote that I love, a house is made of walls and beans, a home is made of love and dreams. And these are the Tim Holtz butterfly stamp just cut them out but she printed us out or I'm sorry she gave us downloadables of um, different textures like a rusty door um, a peeling barn door type texture but I just found in my stash some type of scrapbook paper that I could use um, to kind of give the same effect and she thinks of quotes that really speak to her and types them on a typewriter and I'm just using, um, I actually printed this on the computer um, last night and used that. But um, I like this one. I like the colors of it. I just like how the house just pops. Um, so that one turned out cool. This one I wasn't thrilled with. I don't know why. I just, this is the text. These two, we made a bunch. I'm going to have to go away and come back, I think. But we made a bunch of these houses. So with the printables that she has in the class, we had, like this is just some more of the tag I made that I used on the other one. Um, this is one of my jelly plate prints, hold on. Um, that we, see this one? This is another piece of, uh, just, um, it would have been her downloadable of a like barn door or something, but I just used what I had in my stash because like I said, my printer wasn't working. So we made these little houses and she just put, she has little numbers. I just cut out book page numbers for my book. Um, all different pieces that you could put on your, um, on your art journal pages. So I just made a bunch of those while I was at it. And they were just fun. Um, and then I ended up using, so I cut this out too. But I ended up using the one that matched 
the um, house. And I mean, I don't hate it, but, um, oh, washi tape, too. That was the other thing. That was something else, too, like on here. See, there's washi tape. So she's throwing washi tape in. This is just another piece of scrapbook paper. Well, not actually. No, it's not. That is, I stamped on it. It's like a, pair, a piece of um, scrap paper that I was stamping my stamp on, and I just cut that piece out to bring some black. Um, but yeah, on this one, I don't know. We did a lot more doodling, and I don't have, I just got these. The, um, these are by Sakura, which I was very happy with, and they were like $6, Crepas, um oil pastels, and she uses, she has big ones. Look how thin these are. I didn't know how little they were. But I should have known because it says 25 colors, but they're really little. And she does them at the end. She goes around the piece with her pastels and like adds color to the edges and stuff. And I didn't have these, so I just used my um, colored pencils and kind of went around the edge. Um, I think I used paint too. I was kind of just doing whatever I had. Um, but yeah, so, oh, and then she had... Um, some book page no 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 there she had numbers so this is a safe place to hide away from the world I, it's home you know that was the my favorite place to be and full of precious memories and see i think it's my writing again that really bothers me about this page i just got a faber castell pit pen in the small i guess it is and i have an extra small this writing was done with um my food ball my food ball and it's a much much wider darker ink so like here's the uh, s see it's just softer and then this is the extra small so if i would have written it with one of these i probably would have been happier with it but it, and then i ended up going over everything with the food ball because it was so dark i think that's what bothers me something about it but um I'm having so much fun. You guys, I am learning so much from her. Kate Crane. Um, let me think. What else did I want to say? Uh, listen, all these techniques are things that um, we've seen a million times before on Facebook. Um, not Facebook, but um, on YouTube. I mean, art journals have, you know, I've got this up on a uh, display. This one's cute. Start each day with a grateful heart. I like this one. I think it's the colors. I don't know. I just like it. I never thought to use the top of the lid. I always just used the bottom of the lid. You know what I'm talking about? Like to make circles. And she uses the bottom of it. Hello. I don't even, like, see, I don't even think of stuff like that. Like, it's so, it's just crazy what I don't think of that other people think of. Um, so there we go. So there's my journal soup. I'm loving it. I guess I'm gonna, I'm just gonna put this on. Um, I need to brighten these up, I think, too. But, um, so that's it, you guys. Um, I will put Kate's information in the description box. And that's it. Thanks for watching.